7e. Determine linear and quadratic factors of a polynomial expression of degree 3 and degree 4, including factoring of the sum and difference of two cubes and factoring by grouping. So if you recall from the previous video for 7d, here are your formulas for sum and difference of cubes. And they're right here. So go ahead and write these in your notes if you haven't already. For your difference of squares, sum of squares, sum of cubes, and difference of cubes. So if we look at number 33, we have 54x cubed plus 128y cubed. The first thing you want to do before anything else is to see if you can factor out a greatest common factor. These are both even numbers, so you can't take out two. Let's see if we could take out an even bigger number. Let's see if we could take out 54. No, it's a decimal. Let's see if we could take out th six. Let's see if we could take out six. Okay, so let's just take out a 2 for now. So we have 2 parentheses, 27x cubed plus uh, 64y cubed. And notice there's no other numbers you could take out of there because 27 and 64 are relatively prime numbers. And x and y are not necessarily the same, so you can't factor those out either. So we have a sum of squares, so we're going to use this formula. Or not sum of squares, sum of cubes. We're going to use this formula right here. So we have a cubed equals 27x cubed, and b cubed equals 64y cubed. To get rid of the cubes, we're going to Take the cube root of each side. We're going to exponentiate by one third. So then we have a equals 3x and b equals 4y. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And then you'll plug it into the formula. So we have 3x plus 4y times a squared, which is 9x squared minus a times b, so it would be minus 12xy, plus b squared, 16y squared. And these would be your factors. Let's look at number 40. We have 108m cubed minus 32n cubed. So it looks like we could factor out a 4. So we have 4 on the outside, and then let's divide these. We get 27m cubed minus 8n cubed. So we're going to identify a cubed and b cubed. We have 27m cubed, and b is 8n cubed. To get rid of those cubes, we're going to take the cube root of each side. So we have a equals 3m and b equals 2n. Plug it into the difference of cubes formula. We get 3m minus 2n times a squared, which is 9m squared, plus a times b, so it'd be times 6mn, plus b squared, 4n squared. And these are your factors. Let's do number 44. 9m to the 4th power minus 25n to the 4th power. So this is a difference of two even numbers. We could say that this is a difference of squares. So a squared is going to equal 9m to the 4th. And b squared is 25 n to the fourth. To get rid of the squares, we're going to take the square root 
of each side. So A equals 3M to the second power because 4 divided by 2 is just 2 and 3 times 3 is 9 and then B would equal 5N squared and then you'd plug it in to the difference of squares formula. So we have A minus B 3M squared minus 5N squared times A plus B 3M squared plus 5N squared and these would be your factors. Let's look at number 47. We have x cubed plus 125 equals 0. We're going to solve this by factoring. So this is a sum of cubes. So we'll use the sum of cubes formula from above. Again, make sure you write out these formulas. We have a cubed equals x cubed and b cubed equals 125. To find a and b, take the cube root. So we have a equals x and b equals 5. And we'll plug it into this formula. So we have x x plus 5 times a squared, so x squared minus 5x plus 25 equals 0. We're going to set each of these equal to 0 and find our solutions. So we have x plus 5 equals 0 and x squared minus 5x plus 25 equals 0. Subtract 5, x equals negative 5. So that's one of them. And then we'll use quadratic formula to find the answers to these ones. Identify a, b, and c. We have 1, negative 5, and 25. And then we're going to plug it into the quadratic formula. Let's recall that from a previous section. We have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we'll plug in a, b, and c based on what we're given here. So we have negative, negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 all over 2 times 1. So these two negatives will cancel out. You have 5 plus or minus 25 minus 100 all over 2. So you have 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 75 all over 2. To simplify the square root, We could pull out a negative 1 and also 25. 25 times 3 is 75. 75 times negative 1 would be negative 75. So the square root of negative 1 is i. The square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of 3 is just square root of 3. So then we have 5 plus or minus 5i square root 3 all over 2. These would be your other two answers. Alright, let's go ahead and do number 48. I moved it over here so we'll have more room. So we have x to the 4th power plus 8x squared plus 15 equals 0. So to solve the, to factor and solve these ones, we would do something called u substitution. We're going to say that u equals x squared. So we have u squared 
plus 8u plus 15 equals 0. And we're going to factor it the same way that we've been factoring these kinds of expressions. So a would be 1, b is 8, and c is 15. a times c is 15, and b is 8. We're going to find two numbers that multiply to give you 15 and add to give you 8. That would be 5 and 3. So we have u plus 5 and u plus 3 equals 0. Now, remember, u is x squared, so we'll just replace the u's back with the x squared. So this is your factored form. To solve, we're going to set each of these equal to 0 separately. Subtract 5. So x squared equals negative 5. And x squared equals negative 3. We would take the square root to get rid of those squares. You have negatives inside the radical, so you're going to put i next to the answer. So we have i square root 5 and i square root 3. Those are your two answers. And we also have a plus or minus because we took the square root of a constant. So our four answers would be plus or minus i square root 3 and plus or minus i square root 5. Okay, let's do the last one on this page, number 50. x to the fourth power minus 8x to the third power plus 7x to the second power equals 0. They all have an x. They all have two x's, so we could take out x squared. So if we had 4, we took out 2 of them, we'd have x to the second power. We had 3, we took away 2, you'd have 1. And then if you had x squared, you took out x squared, you'd have 0 of them, so the x is gone. So we're going to set each of these equal to 0 separately. Okay, so x will equal 0 for this one. And then for this one, we're going to factor it like we've been doing. a is 1 b is negative 8, and c is 7. Draw your x. a times c is 7. b is negative 8. We could do negative 7 and negative 1. So we have x minus 7 and x minus 1 equals 0. So your other two zeros is 1 and 7. So these are your three answers. Now, we have a fourth power here, but there's only three types of answers. This one actually was repeated twice, so it has a multiplicity of 2. Because when you took the square root, it's plus or minus 0, which is still 0 either way.